Hi, this is Matt and welcome to my channel where we bring you medical news from reputable resources. Today's video is about a recent study from the Chalmers Institute of Technology that was published in April the 18th, 2023. They investigate how electricity can heal wounds three times as fast. Let's get started. An old Swedish quote says that one should never neglect a small wound or a friend in need. It is usually easy to overlook the dangers that flank inability of wounds to heal. People with diabetes, spinal injuries or poor blood circulation do not have the leverage to overlook such dangers as it means a greater risk of infection and chronic wounds, which in the long run can lead to removal of the injured body part concerned by amputation. As they say, time heals and with the passing of time, a group of researchers at Chalmers and the University of Freiburg have developed a method using electrical stimulation to speed up the healing process. About the study, the researchers work from an old hypothesis that electrical stimulation of damaged skin can be used to heal wounds. The idea is that skin cells are electrotactic, which means that they directionally migrate in the electric fields. This means that if an electric field is placed in a petri dish with skin cells, the cells stop moving randomly and start moving in the same direction. This can be pictured using a logic of a shepherd and his sheep. The electric current acts as a shepherd that directs the skin cells or sheep to the green pasture or wound healing. The researchers investigated how this principle can be used to electrically guide the cells in order to make wounds heal faster. Using a tiny engineered chip, they were able to compare wound healing in artificial skin, stimulating one wound with electricity and letting one heal without electricity. The differences were striking. Also, the researchers focused on wound healing in connection with diabetes, a growing health problem worldwide. One in 11 adults today has some form of diabetes according to the World Health Organization and the International Diabetes Federation. We've looked at diabetes models of wounds and investigated whether our methods could be effective even in those cases. We saw that when we mimic diabetes in the cells, the wounds on the chip heal very slowly. However, with electrical stimulation, we can increase the speed of healing so that the diabetes-affected cells almost correspond to healthy skin cells, Asplund says. What's next for wound healing technology? The Chalmers researchers recently received a large grant which will allow them to continue their research in the field and in the long run will enable the development of wound healing products for consumers on the market. Similar products have come out before but more basic research is required to develop effective products that generate enough electric field strength to shepherd these skin cells effectively. This is where Asplund and her colleagues come into the picture. We are now looking at how different skin cells interact during stimulation. To take a step closer to a realistic wound, we want to develop a concept to be able to scan wounds and adapt the stimulation based on the individual wound. We are convinced that this is the key to effectively helping individuals with slow healing wounds in the future. We hope you found this video insightful. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to support us. For the full article, visit the link in the description. See you next time.